Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to part 12 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and uh, we are on our way to Sora's Kingdom but before we get there there are a few things we have to do while in Zora's River first one is that we have if, okay, I, apparently I cannot skip what this guy was saying anyway there are a few things we have to do here in the Zora's River the first one is right in front of us and if I could just roll into the tree oh, there we go Right, this is our first school tour of this video. Oh, oh do, 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 do. that was close. Okay, grab this chicken right here, and it will become useful. Trust me. Okay, you can see a piece of part over there that we're going to use this chicken to grab that piece of heart. So run all the way over here. Jump, grab the sword. Okay. Now I what I do here is that I roll and then jump. There. We have three pieces now. Just need to find that chicken again. Okay, here it here it is. Right up there, climb and repeat. All right, now we are getting close to Sora's domain, and we will get another piece of heart over here. Hold on, just one moment. Right, there's also a skull toilet over here, but it's turning into day, so I'll have to use the Samsung's to put it back into night. What do you want? How would she know? She's from the forest, she's not from around here. Oh, neither am I. Okay, that just really backfired on me. Let's get our skull toy over here. Let's get the slingshot ready. And we're set to enter Sora's domain. Play Silver's lullaby. Okay, we can enter Sora's domain now. I have to say, the Sora's domain theme always calms me down. I mean, it has this mellow feel to it, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, there are a few things we're going to do here while in Sora's domain. The first thing we're going to do is that we are going to get the silver scale. Now, but before we do that, we need to light some torches down over here. Okay. Go back all the way over here and light up the storage. Okay. Now there are other uh, another four torches we have to lit light. I'm sorry. First one being over here. Okay, there's the second one. And there are, here are number three. Of them. Here we have yet another piece of art. Alright, now we have to climb back to where King Zora was 
and head to the left and talk to a Sora to start a mini game of sorts in order to get the silver skill. But before that, let me have a drink. I'm still thirsty. Okay, I actually needed to empty that bottle in order to catch some fish, which I'm going to need in order to open up dungeon number three. This game is pretty easy. You can't really, you can't really not lose at this game. Yeah, I'm not going to say that right. I mean, you can't lose at this game. It's impossible to lose at this game. All right, die all the way over here. We have to collect all these five rupees, as that Sora guy said, in order to. Do it. Okay, seven one. Yes, four and five are right there together. Okay, we have won a very easy mini game, so let's go back up that waterfall to collect our prize. Here's our silver scale. Now, I don't know where uh, exactly those wing foot that I, I mean, those like, does he like, swallow it or something? I don't know. Anyway, head on uh, to this hole over here, which is a warp hole, and it'll take us right to Lake Hylia. You see that bottle over there? We have to dive and get it. I missed. That's, that shouldn't have happened. Okay, lock on to it. Alright, we got it. Yeah, there's already something inside of there. That's but that something is going to help us get to dungeon number 3. Now, before I go back to Sora's Domain, there's a few things I have to do here while in Lake Hylia. First one being uh, collecting a gold skull toilet. head to this pillar altar I don't know you you name it there's a skull tola in one of the pillars over here the co uh, or is it a column I'll call it a column okay now the second thing we need to do and this one is probably the most uh, daunting not to say not not to mention annoying part we have we will head to the fishing hole where we will get another piece of heart but and let me tell you right now um, it's going to take a while I may have to cut the video because it'll take so long and I'll do it so that you don't get bored watching me fail epically yeah well I'm playing on the virtual console like I said so unfortunately I cannot uh, have I cannot uh, have any rumble on my controller but if anybody knows if you can have a uh, if you can activate the rumble feature on the GameCube controller please tell me I would appreciate it I always stand over here. Oh, we got ah, got away. Yeah, I did. 
Okay, from here on, guys, well, it's going to be so so boring. You have no idea. This is like I have to say, I have a lot of patience, but there are some things where that I'm just not patient enough. Where I'm just not patient enough, and fishing is one of them. Come on, bite. Have to recast it. Okay, reel it back in. Hopefully, I'll get this fish over here. Come on, bite. Alright, come on, come on. Come to Papa. Oh my god, dude! Took five minutes fighting with this fish to pull it in, but it's worth it. Trust me, anything is worth it if if it means you get a piece of heart. Anyway, get back to the counter and show your fish to the to the guy over in, in the counter. I'm gonna get this uh, piece of heart and I'm gonna cut the video over here. Okay, here is our last piece of heart of this video. Thank you for joining me on this part, guys. I'll see you all next time. I wanna quit. Not making the walkthrough. I will be back. Bye.